like all good stories, this one takes place trying to smash a half pipe competition in between storms in the Eastern Sierra. <laughs> I took off and I was like, oh no, this is gonna be a seven. Just wrap it, you'll get there. When you think about it, like how many tricks do you have for a lot of things you have done? Zero. Parallel. Yeah, it's still on that front. Yeah. It's about 30 miles an hour wind today, crosswind, bluebird, and this is probably the best conditions we're gonna get. Uh, you have to pop. You have to under pop on the left side and over pop on the right side, so it you know it really favors the uh, adjustable, a flexible skiers in the in the realm. Lots of fun, good time out here. It's still skiing.
All right, guys, it's 5.50 in the morning, which means we're five minutes behind schedule. We're trying to leave at 5.45, but we're out of here, 5.50, driving up to the mountain. Uh, this is taking me back to my racing days, back when I used to ski race when I was like 12 years old, because all those races usually start at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, anyway, so we're in the Eastern Sierras, and a big storm is rolling in, rolling out, rolling in again. So, event organizers have decided the best strategy is to get qualifiers off at the crack of dawn this morning. So, that's why we're driving to the mountain right now. So, we're gonna go get some breakfast in us and see if we can get some practice under our belts and get qualifiers out of the way. What's, what's interesting about today is usually you get kind of stressed out on competition days or you can get stressed out on competition days because, you know, it's, it's pressure, it's intensity, it's, it's what we do, but I'm not even the least bit stressed today because we very well might be driving up to the lodge to sit in the lodge for a couple hours and then turn around and drive home and not even put our ski boots on. That's a possibility. We also might be competing, who knows? That's that's the crazy thing with dealing with these, these big storms. You never know what you're gonna get. It feels kind of like a, I feel like we're at a surfing contest where they have the weather days or the, where they're waiting for the waves to break. We're just waiting for the right wave to break on the, on the wave here at Mammoth Mountain. 6 a.m. and it's blown sideways already. We'll see how this goes. Status update, 6.15. We arrived to the lobby to get, eat breakfast and nobody else is here, which is making me nervous. Practice starts in 45 minutes. I don't know what's going on. The lift's spinning and the wind is fierce. You wanna check that phone? <laughs> check my phone to see what, uh... No, nothing new. So, status is still as we expected. We'll find out. We just got the unofficial word that the half pipe contest is not happening today. We're counting our blessings. I'm thankful for this roll oatmeal right here. And uh, kind of thankful that I don't have to go out and ski half pipe in these conditions. But that's actually unconfirmed. So we still have to finish breakfast and go over to make sure that that's confirmed. But uh, that's what it's looking like. Kind of what I thought. Like, yeah, well, we're gonna get out there and be mentally ready. But if it doesn't go down, we're not gonna be surprised either. So that's kind of how today's going. That's it, folks. That's a wrap on today. We are not skiing half pipe today. I can 100% confirm that. As you can see, the sun decided to make an appearance out here, Mammoth Grand Prix. Qualifier day, we're only one day behind schedule and we're hyped. The pipe is the best it's been all year in Mammoth and uh, good day for a little contest. Here we go. Oh, 
like 85 degrees too. Oh, <laughs> perfect. On being a good filmer, you gotta make sure your athletes are very well nourished. Well, that's a wrap, folks, for day one of competition here at Maine Grand Prix. Uh, my first time all year I got to do a twister twister spread in contest because uh, I got hit by, blasted by a gust of wind uh, on my left of 12 and I decided I wasn't going to improve, so I just threw in the old school trick. Pretty fun, fun day and uh, sitting first in my heat, which means I'm going to finals and that's tomorrow. So, see you guys tomorrow.